Welcome everybody to our Energize PA Fall Press Conference here in the main Capitol Rotunda. I'm Speaker Mike Torzai, and I'm joined by my, uh, many of my colleagues, but uh, especially thankful that uh, our Majority Leader, Brian Cutler of Lancaster County, is here with me, in addition to so many important uh, teammates uh, from both uh, the trade labor unions and also from the employer side on the business side. And here's the key component of Energize PA. We are all one team focused on family sustaining jobs and bringing energy independence and opportunity and manufacturing to Pennsylvania. Back in 2013, we worked to get tax credits with respect to the natural gas that lies beneath us for petrochemical facilities. Because we wanted them to locate on brownfield sites in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, of which we have many. We have many brownfield sites. And we want to see a resurgence in these family sustaining jobs with great pay and great benefits and great opportunity. And so I'd ask you, have you been down to Representative Josh Kale's district? <laughs> if you have not, please get there in Beaver County. Shell is, is erecting right now with Bechtel as part of the largest construction site in North America with over 150 cranes, and you have to see it. You have to see it. And we are nearing right now at that facility, we are nearing 6,500 trades professionals, and let me read them to you, steam fitters, electricians, iron workers, boilermakers, carpenters, laborers, equipment operating engineers, teamsters, cement finishers, millwrights, painters, and plumbers working very diligently. And we're going to have a set of permanent jobs there nearing 1,000. And in addition, there are other sites that are being looked at in the Beaver Valley area with respect to other upstream and downstream opportunities that will either make use of natural gas, its byproducts, or the plastic product that's coming from the Shell facility. The Shell facility's product can be used in diapers and crayons and plastic cartons. There are a wide variety of opportunities and we want to see those manufacturing facilities come to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania too. But we don't think it should be limited to one region of the state. You're going to hear from Representative Aaron Coffer, who's going to talk about a similar tax credit that can only come if at least a billion dollars is invested in capital, and if there's upwards of hundreds of jobs that are actually paying family sustaining wages and is actually making money to do a similar type opportunities in the northeast region of the state. 